What is up in this genre? It's your boy IBS Kelso. In today's video, I'm going to be giving out my reshade preset. Uh, I just want to give a little bit of disclaimers. This is not a tutorial video on how to download it. If you would like to download reshade, it is over on Stratos's YouTube. We'll plug it in the description. Go watch that on how to download it, then come back here for the preset. What's up, guys? It's Stratos, and today we're going to be installing a reshader on MX bikes. Also want to say that I am running a 4090 i9 whole bunch of shebang that makes my game I guess a little bit more high end so I have no idea if this is going to work for any of you guys with a lower end PC so just to let that be known another one reshade does not make you better or faster in this game unless you really think so and it actually gives you some liquid curves and easy peasy but uh, I just want to let that be known as well. It just kind of, you know, puts a little bit easier on the eyes. I also want to say shout out to Shadows for giving me this preset. I think he got it from Troy Jan, so shout out to him as well. And I kind of just put it up on my own touch up. Um, I thought what better way to show this preset off than coming here at Sweden, the most newest MXGP track out at the time of you watching this video, created by JV. So yeah, we're gonna go lock in. Uh, show a little bit off and then I'm gonna show you what it, this game looks like without reshade so also I guess I haven't even explained it reshade just yeah like I said reshade just makes your game look way better than the blando poboso stock so yeah lock in I'm gonna show you what it looks like stock and I'm gonna show you what my preset is and I'm just gonna go over the settings and then I think the only place that I can actually post this preset is gonna be inside my discord so I'll go ahead and show that on the screen where you can actually find that and then yeah, just kind of copy and paste everything I have. You can always play around and you might find something better than me. If you do, go ahead and share. If not, keep it to yourself, man. Always, you know, best bang for your buck. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so you should already know how to open it, but I guess I'll say it. So you're gonna wanna press your home page on here, on your screen. This should bring up your reset preset. You should already have it downloaded. Um, I haven't updated reshade in a very long time. I feel like I don't need to, but some stuff is like low key out of date. But realistically, if you just re-downloaded preset and all that, you would have even more features than me. But I don't need all the new features. Um, adaptive sharpen. I, I believe like all these come already clicked on, but I'll show you just inside of each one like what the settings are, and you can take a look. But if I click onto it, click off them, and click back on, I'm running a 1.41 sharpening strength. Uh, I believe none of this matters, but you can try it out. If you want to and pause it ambient light you can see the difference from there um, I got a 3.437 uh, on alien and then threshold I have 16.338 vibrance uh, I do have a saturation far and saturation zero nothing so I don't really have anything here for that top side but vibrance FX I do have a point zero point one two seven and everything else should be the same at RG balance Next is the prod. I believe that's what gives this little extra light. Instead of the dark dirt, you get a little bit lighter. I'm running a enabling dither with a 2.845 dither strength. Um, you can look at the tent exposure. Um, yeah, go ahead and pause that up if you want. I don't really know what all those things do. They're kind of just with the preset, I think. If not, then boom, I've messed with them. Colorfulness, you can really see how colorful, like the colorfulness actually makes the game. You can see how gray and just like, eh, you're there. But well, this right here actually makes that mode. So, yeah, I'm looking at 1.30 for colorfulness and then Lime Luma. I'm looking at just a 1.0 with a dither on. Color Noise is on as well. And I think that's it for there. And then I do have Blooming HDR. So what happens is Blooming HDR, I think depending on like where you are on the track or like environment, it'll actually uh, like adjust to that environment. And you'll see like when you first like step out, like come to the track or do this, it'll like actually like adjust to like your brightness and it's pretty cool but i'm also running an auto bloom auto saturation with a 0 0.492 um 0 0.035 0 0.028 for bloom uh intensity um sensitivity is 1.0 2.0 for bloom curve 0 0.250 for bloom saturation and 0.25 there and i believe that might be everything i'm running oh hdr fake i believe that's another thing that's kind of going so hdr fake hdr is power 1.130 0.793 for radius and then radius 2 is 0 0.870 um, I, I don't think anything else down there and then yeah I believe that is actually everything I have in my reshade so, um, I actually don't know how to take off reshade on and off but if I was to click on my other monitor real quick you can actually see it that's like no reshade and then like that's back on reshade so no reshade 
<laughs> back on reshade you can definitely see the difference so hope you guys enjoyed this video i didn't want to make it super long but there you go hopefully this will help you out uh, tremendously if you want a little bit more beautiful uh track or i mean uh game but yeah if you guys if this helped you any at all and you stuck around this long in the video hit that like button subscribe button i really greatly appreciate it and then, yeah hope you guys enjoy appreciate you baby and i'll catch you guys in the next one pop up pop up pop up pop up peace